Hey Zoo family, welcome to today's video. We have a very interesting video for you. Melanie and I are gonna do some talking at the end. We have something to share with you that we know you wanna hear and uh, we'll appreciate it for those of you who are gonna choose to stick around and listen. But for now, we are going to solve the mystery of what Emily from Pennsylvania sent us. Guys, what do you think is in this package? Uh, Does anybody know? I think it's something uh, like she made. It does feel like something made, it, it does. Like it feels like something tough. It does feel like something that was made. We saw a lot of comments of people saying they think it is something made, something handmade. Timmy, what do you say? Ice. Ice? Yeah, ice is hard. Ice is hard. Okay, that's true. Okay, we're gonna open this package and three other packages that we have from our P.O. Box. Thanks to those of you who send stuff to us. We always love to have subscriber mail videos in which we share what our findings are when we open the P.O. Box. Are you ready to find out? Yeah. Here we go, here we go. Okay. Okay. Nice and slow. Daisy's gonna help. What did Emily from Pennsylvania send us? It's bubble wrapped. Oh, I see a note, there's a note. Okay, Emily wrote, this must be the most poorly wrapped package in history. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. We never tried to send one of these in the mail before. Ooh. And it's a little face, a little silly winky face emoji. Uh, <laughs> this is amazing. What is it? Oh my. Like, a mama. Oh my. Like what? A, a bear. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, wait. it is custom. Wait. It is, and I just saw what it is, and I want to, okay, I'm going to. You want to see my reaction? Yes. So I have to close my eyes? Yeah. Oh, is it cedar? No, it's like I think so. I can't see over there, Zoo Family. I can't tell what she's doing. I really want to look. <laughs> look, I'm going to close my eyes. I'm setting the camera here, Mom. Okay. It's still recording. So I'm going to record you reading the card. Okay, is it turned? Yes, you can't do that. Okay, it was so hard picking out a card to send you, which I guess isn't surprising. It's pretty it, impossible to sum up. I'm excited for the coming addition to your family and I'm so desperately sorry for your loss all in mm. the same card. Just know that both are true and you've been in my thoughts and prayers. Mm. Lots of sunshine your way. I was planning on making a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I just read it. Okay, ready? Yes. Open. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Don't tell me. I'm not looking. Logan, you can open them. Wait, there's Timmy. I was gonna say that in Logan. That is so Isn't crazy. it amazing? Beautiful. Okay. This made me super emotional when I first saw it because the amount of thought that went into it, it's so, oh my gosh. These pictures are put on here with a wood burning tool. Mm -hmm. There's Katie Bug, Kayla B, Chloe Rue, or Chloe Joey, <laughs> like I always think Chloe <laughs> Joey too. Daisy Deer, Logie Bear, and Timbo. <laughs> it's so amazing the youngest kid is up top. Oh my gosh, and it's a growth chart, guys. So basically kids, come here. Logan is this tall, and we can keep track of how Logan grows over time. I, th I thought it was gonna be right there. You're about right here. <laughs> and isn't that cool? Yeah. And then everyone can stand there. Timmy, you're about the size of a deer. Well, right here, look, you're right here. <laughs> you're about the size of a deer. How thoughtful. Okay. Is that a mink? Oh, so cute. Oh. Hey, you're here. Wow. <laughs> you are. And then Caleb. Caleb's about an inch taller right oh, now. No, he's like two inches. Yeah, inch, maybe maybe an inch and a half. The growth spurt worked? Yeah, you're going through a growth spurt again. <laughs> Everybody say thank you, Emily. Thank you, Emily. Wow, from the bottom of our hearts, I guess I can't even like thank you doesn't seem like enough because I know how much work this was for you. Amazing that you would bless us so so great. And you included Chloe, so how awesome are you that you did that? Mom, where are you at right now? Where are mommy and daddy? Uh huh. Mommy, let's see. Let no, no, no. Mommy and daddy aren't. Okay. Mommy is uh almost to the elephant. Mommy is. Right here, and then daddy's gonna be up here probably. Right here. There you go, there's where daddy is. Daddy's yeah. higher than that. I'm almost, I'm almost higher than the elephant. You? Yeah. I've never heard you 
What? Okay, we have three more packages to open. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, we have one from Scotland. All the way from Scotland. Hi, Zoo family. Thank you for sharing your journey with us. You brighten my days with your videos. Wishing your beautiful family all the best when Daisy arrives. Catherine. Love, Catherine, from Scotland. Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? It's clothing. It's clothing. Is it an outfit? Oh, yeah. <gasps> it's another cardigan. I. Oh my gosh, I love the cardigans. Instead of making this, so they funny. make the the roses like it's this color instead. Of red. Red. Yeah, I like that it's blue. We don't. I don't think we have a lot that's blue. We got a lot of we pink, don't. a lot of red, a lot of yellow, but it's a nice little blue I outfit. Think, yeah. I think Daisy's favorite color is going to be blue since. Grandma's favorite color was blue. Great, great, no, great grandma's color was purple. Was purple? Mm -hmm. So purple. it's close to blue. Mom's favorite color is blue. Maybe Daisy's color is Maybe. We'll Daisy. see. Yeah. We'll it. see. That's pretty cool. Everyone say, thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. Okay, this one says, hi, Mike and Melanie. I am new to your channel and completely love what you have done with the kids. This actually, I'm getting deja vu because this is literally from Pradnya and it's the same way I read it from our last video. Same same exact note. I love what you've done with the kids. You are such an inspiration to so many. Just wanted to be a little part of your journey, Pradnya. So Pradnya gave us a ton of stuff in our last video. So this one is a gift that came from her too. It was delayed compared to everything else. Oh, it comes with shoes. And, and is it little lemons? I see. Yeah. Little lemonade stand girl. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, be, Cardigan. She could go when, to dinner in that. She could. Yeah. I am guessing right now she has a cardigan for every day of the week. I think yeah, she has like seven, right. seven cardigans. I, she's got a lot of cardigans. Oh, look at the cute shoes with the bow. I know, They're like I'm little. Cute. They look like little faux denim. They look uh -huh. like little denim shoes almost. Yes, almost like little How adorable. They would not fit mine. They would not fit mine. They would did a lemon stand and she wears <laughs> A little lemonade stand. She'll do a little lemonade stand. Everyone say thank you, Pradnya. Thank you, Pradnya. And lastly, we have another one from Pradnya. This is the completion of the Pradnya suite. Let's see what the last gift is. There. Yeah, those are cute, aren't they? And I think I know what it is. It's more campers! Yay! Awesome. awesome. Size three. Aren't size three is what they tell you you have to be prepared for your child to be in the longest? Yeah, they are. Like you could have a child potentially in size three for, for a really long time. nine months to a I year, so. depending on their growth. Yeah. So this starts our size threes. Awesome. Thank you, Pradnya. Thank you, Pradnya. Okie dokie. Kids are off to bed. Good night, guys. Bye. Doing your routine. We'll see you tomorrow. What, that was the most in sync, unison, farewell, Avida saying goodbye. It's like the sound of music. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> so tonight we wanted to end our video by just sharing uh, our continued journey through grief and missing Chloe and how it's like to know that you're carrying twins and yet preparing for one. It's kind of trippy. Yeah. Yeah, it, there's moments of relapse, and I've had a couple of them in the last two days, and that's what I wanted to share before we close. Uh, you know, you go through this thinking, okay, I seem to be dealing with it really well, and then you have moments where it just floods back as if it's the first moment you found out again. Yeah. And that happened for me the last couple of days when I was in the girl's room. Um, I was trying to get it finalized for her the room reveal video because we've been wanting to do a room reveal video and that if that has seemed delayed it's basically my fault if you want to say that although i don't no. fault myself for not wanting or not it's not that i don't want to be in there it's just i have trouble being in there without being sad um you know because when i'm working i guess I'm, your mind is distracted or whatever but being in there has just been tough the last couple of days but it's good because it's bringing to the surface the emotions I'm feeling, but I'm not taking the time to acknowledge. And part of dealing with grief is allowing yourself to experience everything. Right. We did have a comment. Uh, I don't know if it was on, I think it was actually on Instagram. It wasn't even on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But, you know, someone just with no heart told me just to, to basically shut up 
and and buckle up and deal with it and like this is life buddy like it, someone what? someone yeah I, I haven't told melanie that because uh. it would really upset her but uh do i look upset it, yeah you do and um but that's you ignorant know people it is ignorant and it's unfortunate because that person is probably um if they ever have to go through something like this or worse or, or cancer or something their idea is that emotions are things you shouldn't stop to feel mm -hmm. you know anytime you say i just need to busy myself or something like that like there's a healthy busy and there's an unhealthy un avoidance yeah and you can't avoid emotions they will always be there and if you don't grieve and don't let yourself grieve and give yourself that space to grieve you will be worse off for it i say that as yeah. a person who didn't properly grieve my mother and was in a depression for a solid two years and was not an available husband to my wife. Uh, I say that not to um, share an uncomfortable level of information with you all, but to let you know I have dealt with grief in my life and, and not dealt with grief in my life and seen the difference of what happens to you when you shut your heart down and shut off and try to, try to just be strong it, it, there's no point in trying to be strong. You don't have to be strong. And if you're out there thinking that you need to be strong and you're living through something right now that is testing you and you keep telling yourself, I just need to be strong. I just need to be strong. Or maybe you hear your parents in your head telling you, just be strong, just be strong. I want you to know you don't have to be strong. God can be strong for you. That's right. um, we don't often like push our beliefs but I just want to encourage some people, maybe, through what I'm going through, that I don't need to be strong. God is infinitely stronger than me, and he's infinitely stronger than you. And if you will turn to him and cast your cares on him, you will find he can carry them better than you can, and he will heal you. Absolutely. He will heal you. So don't, don't tell yourself you need to be strong. You don't need to be strong. You can be yourself, and it's okay if you're sad. It's okay... If you feel emotions that that uh, that you otherwise would feel ashamed that you're feeling, don't don't do that. Don't run from emotions. It's okay to feel them. So I, I'm just sharing that just to update you on where I am. I'm still grieving. Melanie's still grieving. You know, we we probably haven't looked like it in videos recently because we're embracing Daisy like we should. You know, we want to be excited for that little girl so that the day of her birth will not be you know a funeral mixed with a birth but it will just be fully us embracing her physically for the first time and then you know just fully with all of our hearts we want to do that and in order to do that we have to walk through all these stages of grief and allow ourselves to have that time so that's what we wanted to share with you we hope that maybe it was an encouragement to someone who maybe is going through the same thing or if not, maybe tuck some of that stuff away for a future time where you can't foresee that you will eventually go through something tough where you may need some of that wisdom. And we pass it along to you the same way it's been passed to us from the scriptures and from people who love us, from people who've been through things far before us, who have helped us along the way to learn some lessons here and there about grief and trial and all that stuff. So we love you, Zoo family. We appreciate you watching. We appreciate all the liking and subscribing and the commenting and the sharing, but more than that, we appreciate the community we have with you. We thank you for all the encouraging comments we read every day. We get so many every day that it's impossible to keep up with them all and respond to them all, but we do read them. We want you to know we read your comments and we love you and we appreciate you. We'll see you tomorrow.